U.S. Supreme Court, lawyers for Marcellus Williams allege racial bias and constitutional errors at his trial. Thanks for being here at noon. I'm Kay Quinn. Williams is scheduled to be executed at 6 tonight at the state prison in Bonterre. He's long maintained that he's innocent of the 1998 killing of Leisha Gale. Joining us now is Five on Your Sides, Justina Coronel. Williams still hopes to get his sentence commuted, Justina? Yes, absolutely. There's actually last-minute appeals to the United States Supreme Court, like you mentioned. And we're told this is really the last effort before to avoid execution altogether. Now, there are, like I mentioned, there are several appeals to the Missouri Supreme Court, so we're still waiting to hear back on that decision. Now, just yesterday, the Missouri Supreme Court handed down this, its decision denying a request for a stay. Now, Williams' main argument, there was racial bias in the original jury selection. However, the assistant attorney general fought back, saying that wasn't true. Now, the court made the decision saying the prosecutor failed to demonstrate actual innocence or constitutional error that undermines the confidence in the judgment of the original criminal trial. Now, Governor Mike Parson won't grant clemency either. And in a lengthy statement, he said in quote, part, quote, I follow the law and trust the integrity of our judicial system. Now, earlier today, I actually spoke to Williams' attorney with the Midwest Innocent Project, and she said emotions change minute by minute for her client. It's really, you know, focusing on the things that are most important to, to you or most important to him, but to anyone really, right? Thinking about family and faith and what are those things that, um, you want to make sure you're surrounding yourself with when you might have limited time. Now, we were told some of the Midwest Innocent Project staff will also be at the execution tonight if it is continued to be scheduled. And that is scheduled at six if that continues. Now, we know his son will also be there again if this ex execution is not stopped. So we know the Missouri Supreme Court handed down a ruling saying Correct. that uh, they would not stay the execution. Do we expect to hear from the U.S. Supreme Court? When might that happen? So the Midwest Innocence Project said that it could be any time before the execution, which is scheduled at 6 o'clock. But another legal expert also told me that we might not hear anything. It might just be a mute response, mm -hmm. which is really no response. Okay, we know you're following this very closely and will bring us any updates. Much more on 5 and Your Side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thank you, Justina. Thank you.